The decision to call the UDA back onto the streets was taken within an hour of today's bomb blast in the Standard Bar. The explosion came less than 24 hours after a barman was shot dead in another pub just 50 yards away. Tonight, UDA volunteers wearing their paramilitary uniforms are helping to control traffic along the Shankill Road. A UDA spokesman claimed that as many as 2,000 men will be on duty tonight throughout the city. The UDA had suspended their patrols just over two weeks ago when the army invaded the Catholic no-go areas. But tonight they were claiming that the army can't give the Protestant areas the same protection as their own volunteers. Their official statement said that the patrols are to assist the military operations and they say they'll now continue indefinitely. Split them up, two stage. I asked the vice chairman of the UDA exactly what the patrols would be doing. Well, we intend to see that the terrorists are stopped. The security forces of Munich have obviously failed to stop them. We have no alternative but to try and stop them ourselves. This we will try to do. In your statement, you say that uh, if you do come across any of the bombers, they'll be meted out with UDA justice. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, I'm sorry I couldn't comment on UDA justice. The only point we could state about it is that Mr. Whitelaw's justice doesn't seem to work. As far as the UDA were concerned, the bombing of the Standard Pub, one of the most popular bars in the Shankill, was the last straw. The army had only just warning time enough to clear out the lunchtime drinkers. The bomb had been left in a GPO engineer's van at the corner of Agnes Street and the Shankill Road. The explosion fractured a water main and extensively damaged buildings up to a quarter of a mile away. The army were concerned that local residents were reluctant to leave the area because they thought it was just another bomb hoax. And this is one reason why so many people had to be taken to hospital and treated for shock. Two hours later, four armed men left a 40-pound parcel bomb at a petrol station in the Antrim Road. Army disposal experts were preparing to defuse the bomb when it went off. There were no casualties, but the garage was wrecked.